I was a detective sergeant in the Merseyside Police on the Serious Crime Squad. When I retired, uh, for the first couple of months, I had a lump sum, uh, went on a holiday, did some certain things, bought a car, with, with, and then it all stopped because of what do we do tomorrow? It became such a boring life. What am I going to do? This money that I've, I've got from my retirement is going to run out very shortly. And my pension wasn't enough when I had two children uh, to bring up uh, and, and a mortgage to pay. So I needed to do something else. Since then, I've done must, uh, probably dozens of different types of work for, for, different, for different people. First started um, working for a private investigator, doing fraud investigations for the finance houses where people were um, buying cars on false identifications, uh, not paying, paying them, and then we had to trace the cars, and then we, I would prepare a court case on evidence uh, which I'd hand over to the police so they could arrest them for the fraud that we're doing. That was one of the jobs I did, yes. I've never, I've never done a CV um, because people have... People know me, people know what I do, and people have come to me. Uh, I've also gone to people and said, look, um, this is what I do. Is there any, is there any, uh, like, like for, uh, for instance, solicitors. I've gone to solicitors and I've just said to them, look, um, if you want any stuff serving on people or you want any accident reports taken, or you want any statements taken, I'm, I'm your man to do that for you. And uh, they've given me a couple of jobs to try me with. And then I've, I've, I've done work, continued to do work for them doing along those lines. So basically I've, I've touted for the work and then up, but other people have said, oh, I believe you do some work for so-and-so. How do you fancy doing some for me? So that, that's, that's the way it's been. A lot of it's made by word of mouth and contacts. It's important to keep up with contacts anyway, but from a social point of view. But if you want to do something in, in work-wise afterwards, you've got to remember you, you, everybody, whatever they've done in any job they've done, have attained a life skill in that job. And there's a lot of people still would employ you to use that life skill in one way or another in a different type of job. Whether it be interviewing somebody, whether it be a security guard, whether it be uh, your, 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 your knowledge of crime uh, in, in certain areas, that's your, my, my set, skill set is what people would want me to do. Uh, other people may, you know, a retired baker, for, for instance, a man who retires from being a baker and he might think, oh, I'm a bit bored now being a, you know, my baking's over, I've got me there might be a little shop somewhere you could go and say, hey, do you want anybody to come and do something for you? Whatever the job is, a solicitor might retire. He can still do depositions for people. There's all different skills that we attain during our life that we actually waste when we retire, if you, if you call the word retirement. Uh, to me, I haven't retired because I want to keep active. And I think that's the reason why I'm 17 in next birthday, is that I'm still active and mobile, is because I do things rather than be sedentary and sit at home, you know.